everyone and welcome back to Style Novice. Today I'm going to be bringing you one of the ever popular DIYs. It's been doing the rounds on sites such as Pinterest for a while now and that is the DIY Sharpie Mug. Now this is a fantastic idea, they make great gifts and look super easy and simple to do but so many people that have been trying this DIY have been failing, it's not been working and the Sharpie has been washing off after just the first wash. Now after a couple of weeks of trial and error and research and experiments I'm going to bring you pointers on why they may not be working for you and tips on how to make them work. So Sharpies are known all around the world for being smudge proof and waterproof and the whole idea of these Sharpie mugs is that the Sharpie will bake into the glaze of your mug so your designs will last for days and washes to come which brings me to my first tip, tip number one. The thicker the glaze on the cup the harder it's going to be for your Sharpie to stay and normally the more expensive the mug, the thicker the glaze. So tip number one, pick a cheap cup. Sharpies are available in lots of different colours and tip sizes so when it comes to your design, tip number two is to go over your design twice, letting it dry in between each application. And remember that some colours will fade, reds may fade to yellow and black certainly doesn't stay as black as black as it was when you drew it on, it will fade to a brownie grey. Number three is similar to number two, after that last application, let it dry before going into the oven. Number four, when it comes to baking, let your mugs heat up with the oven and cool down with the oven. You don't want to be putting a glazed mug straight into a hot oven, especially if it's cheap, you want to prevent cracking. Tip number five, bake it hot. Most tutorials that you may have seen for this DIY suggest baking it at 350 Fahrenheit, which is around 180 Celsius, but this just isn't hot enough for a lot of the glazes on cups, even the cheap ones that have such a thick glaze that you're trying to penetrate with your Sharpie, it just won't stay and it'll wash off after that first wash. Bake it hot around 220 to 230 Celsius. Let the mugs heat up in the oven to 220 or 230 Celsius, bake for half an hour, turn off and leave them to cool in the oven. And tip number six when you're all done and dusted, you want to hand wash only with a really soft sponge. That's all for today's DIY tutorial guys, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope your DIY Sharpie mugs work for you now after these extra pointers and tips. Basically it comes down to finding the perfect mug, so if you do find one and this DIY tutorial works for you, leave a comment below letting us know where you got your mug from so other people in your area can do the same. Don't forget to check out my blog site for this DIY tutorial and others and if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, hit it now to see more of me each week. Bye.